So we spoke to Sigma recently, and it's pretty exciting news. They are dropping three new lenses for Fuji X-mount cameras. Now, they did have these lenses for Sony E-mount and L-mount users. It's their 16mm, 30mm, and 56mm lenses, all f1.4s, all primes, and now these will be available on X-mount cameras. This is really exciting because these lenses are both budget-friendly and really quality. So we chose this pretty nice day out to shoot in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, because Fujifilm is, in my opinion, pretty hip camera brand, and Williamsburg is pretty known for being a hip place. I'm gonna say hip is the word of the day here. So yeah, we're out here. We're gonna meet up with a friend later, take some portraits, take some videos, take some pictures, and see how these lenses perform out in the street. Let's do it. Sigma set out with their DCDN line to build compact and affordable lenses, and I think they really did that with these three. We have our 16 millimeter, 30 millimeter, and 56 millimeter lenses all go down to f1.4, so they should work really well in low light, and also work really well as portrait lenses because you're gonna get that nice background separation. The 16 millimeter has 16 elements in 13 groups with nine rounded aperture blades, has a minimum focus distance of 25 centimeters and a 67 millimeter filter size. It's 72.2 millimeters by 92.6 millimeters in diameter and length, and it weighs around 405 grams. The 30 millimeter lens has nine elements in seven groups with nine rounded blades a filter size of 52 millimeters, it's 64.8 millimeters by 73.6 millimeters in diameter and length, and much lighter at 275 grams. Lastly, the 56 millimeter has 10 elements in six groups with nine rounded blades, a 55 millimeter filter size, 66.5 by 59.8 millimeters in diameter and length, and it weighs just 280 grams. All right, so we're in Greenpoint now. Our friend Maddie has arrived. She's gonna be doing some modeling for us and we're gonna take some portraits of her with the 16, 30, and 56 lenses. See how each lens does with portrait photography. I'm really excited to see what the looks they get. That's not a sentence. <laughs> Stand by you when you're falling When the river is calling I said I love you forever We can make it together colder than we expected. My hands are freezing, so we stopped at Pauly G's. I guess we're in Greenpoint for a Slut's Pizza, which is a must. Thank you. 
You didn't get any of that. I didn't know I had to. This is, B, this is back. This is BTS right now. Yeah, we gotta get some. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. All right. So we just spent the day shooting outside. We thought it was gonna be way warmer than it was. Our hands are freezing. Our model's near death. Loved using the Sigma lenses. We did some indoor shots, so being able to stop down to 1.4 is really helpful for that, but also for portrait photography, it really helped get that separation. And I loved the trinity of lenses, the R, pretty much with the 1.5 crop on the APS-C lenses. We're essentially getting a, a 24, a 50, and something like an 85 around those ranges. So those are really great lenses for either portrait photography or wide angle photography in the case of the 16 millimeter lens. So getting to use those today was awesome. I'm excited to look at the photos once we get into Lightroom, but I think we did some good stuff here. Thank you again to Maddie. We're gonna go drink some hot chocolate and get out of here. Break. <laughs>